You're putting the burden of this team on your shoulders, aren't you? Are you taking the full responsibility for this? You okay. feeling? Yeah, no choice. We got a lot of talent on our team, just as any of those teams I just named. And we in this situation here, but it is what it is, yo. It's killing me. I don't, I don't, I don't like. I don't really like showing emotion, man. You know, because it exposes you. And they are trying to rev themselves to provide the kind of atmosphere that the Sonics received the key arena in Seattle. Michael Jordan comeback. Respect to Nate Archibald or Isaiah Thomas, but maybe the greatest little man to ever played a game of basketball. Give it up, Allen Iverson. Just maturing, man, just not knowing. I don't make all the right decisions. I don't do everything the right way. I don't know how to play basketball the right way, like Larry Brown said. Not every game. Sometimes, it, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to explore myself, you know, my game. I'm, I'm going to do something. I'm going to try something. I don't know what playing the right way is. I know what he means, literally, like playing the game the right way, playing unselfishly. He's the greatest coach that ever coached this game, to me, in my heart. It's interesting that you bring up Larry Brown because would you like to hear what he had to say about you? Absolutely. Play the tape. When he goes out to play, he gives everything he can possibly. And he might sometimes be mis misguided, but he competes every single night. He'll never let his teammates down in terms of giving effort and trying to win. And I, and I love him for that. I wish that he realized when kids watch that, they're not seeing the real side of him. You know, he could have the greatest effect on kids of any athlete that I have I've ever been associated with. I see tears welling in your eyes. Why? Nah, I just got a, I got a lot of respect for him. I love him. I mean, he taught me a lot. Like, he taught me a lot. Like, I learned a lot. I learned, you know, that... 
discipline ain't always right, you know, and just because somebody disciplines you, you know, that don't mean they don't love you, you know, I mean, they trying to get you to get right, they trying to get you to the point you have right now. All in. You know, it's uh, I know it's emotional, but you just have to understand that you're inspiring millions of fans in their comeback. But the purpose of the return goes both ways because they're inspiring you. Well, with all this stuff that's going on in this city, a kid from Inglewood got something positive going on. That makes me feel so good, man. Well, This, this shoe is great. This is all. Oh, this is great, but it's I can't explain this. I, I can't. Went, went through so much and to have like true fans. That means a lot to me, and I know it means a lot to my family because we are supposed to be it at all. But God made a way. And this is just truly un unreal. And I'm just happy that I have true fans out there. Well, you do, first of all. And this is one of the reasons why you do. Reggie Miller. Natalie Attire arriving for a game ritual. Always takes a shot at the end of the shot clock. Five viewers, Reggie. Now that was just a prime time Reggie move as he fades away from the Shima. Miller, anger from the lane. Now that was a high degree of a catch, an open catch here tonight. Just watch, now there's your first, there's your second screen. Excellent ball fake, and then fading, fading to the left from behind the three-point line. He's finished, that's exactly what happened. Here was that originally at Salvador, and then overruled as a three-pointer. Now, now this is a difficult shot because he's splitting two defenders and he weighs it. Yeah, you can see right there, see he extended print. They've been switching down on our face like Prince is coming out on Reggie, and Reggie knocks it in. That's his fourth three of the year. Not hesitating. Reggie Miller. Oh, yes! Oh! He has the feel. There's no doubt about it. Inbounding from the corner. Johnson. Oh, yeah. Gets it back. Reggie has it blocked. It was blocked. They're looking for Reggie. Here goes Reggie. Launching a three. Can't get that one. Hamilton gets the rebound. 15.7. And the crowd right now sensing the end of the series and already beginning right now the chance, the applause. And right now it's all about the end of a career. In this building. And for Detroit, it's all about... So they kick, well, not a big kick. They're going to Florida. Yeah. On the gate, Larry Bird is on two speeds. And he's going to play, and Carlisle's going to take Reggie out of the game to let him get the ovation. And the acknowledgement. And even Larry Brown comes out to all the way down the court. Larry takes it for just to let, let the crowd, you know how that is so cool. Yes, it is. Larry Brown, who coached 
Reggie, but Larry is so, so human. He understands if you let play resume, you know, the crowd is back into it, the game winds up, the whole, and Larry calls a timeout so he can bring his team to the other side of the court and join in this. Very, very cool. Well, what, what it is is great respect by his peers, great respect by the opposition, a classy move by Larry Brown, and then the warm. He's been so humble. He's accomplished so much here as a player. Welcoming Dennis to the hall is Phil Jackson from the class of 2007. Ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Rodman. Playing days. It, it wasn't Dennis Rodman. It, it wasn't me. To I didn't play the game for the money. I didn't play the game for to be famous. Uh, what you see here is more just uh, an illusion that I love to just be an individual that's, uh, that's very colorful. Uh, there's a lot of people that I really want to thank. I'm going to thank them in a minute. But uh, this game has been very good to me. You know, I could have been anywhere in the world. I could have been, I could have been dead. I could have been a drug dealer. I could have been homeless. I, I was homeless. And a lot of you guys here that's been here, and a lot of you guys are here that's in the Hall of Fame, you know what I'm talking about? Living in the projects and trying to get out the projects. And um, and I did that, but it, it took a lot of hard work and a lot of bumps, bumps along the road. But uh, I'd like to talk about four people, four individuals that uh, that that's really has been an impact on my life. Phil Jackson, Jerry Buss, James Rich, Chuck Daly. Those four guys, man. I mean, if you talk about having a uh, a mentor, a father, someone you can look up to, you can call any time of the day. You need a shoulder to cry on, a hand to shake. Just speak your mind, and you know these four guys. If you cremated all these guys and, and uh, you made them into one, they're pretty much a perfect individual. And uh, no matter what, they're four seasons to me. And we welcome you to Boston for Game Six of the NBA Finals. And soon, a new banner will be raised to the Raptors, and the first one here in this new guard called the TD Backdoor Guard. Lakers will shoot some free throws. It all started back on draft night. And on July 31st, that was the good move for Danny Ainge. And then Cozy Sign, outside down. There's a 24 second violation.
It's everybody in Chicago. VV, it's for everybody. South Cat, Basswood, my mama be there. See everybody right now. Oh, my mama. Oh, my mama made it, man.